What's going on? I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell community developer, and this is the logo you as a community chose to represent the newly formed 4th Echelon. Let's break it down and tell you what it all means. If you're familiar with the Splinter Cell franchise, you've at least heard of the Fifth Freedom, the foundation for the Splinter Cell Directive's original mission. Former U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, or FDR, articulated in 1941 the four freedoms were the freedom of speech and expression, the freedom of worship, the freedom from want, and the freedom from fear. This most prominent star represents the fifth freedom, namely the freedom to act in defense of the other four. The Talon is a legacy element from third echelon. It stands for two things, the first of which is continuity between the echelon units, and the Talon of the Bird also symbolizes the way the agency does business with an airborne headquarters and the ability to strike silently, suddenly, and with deadly precision. As for the shield, the representation is that 4th Echelon's mission is ultimately defensive. Their mandate is to protect the four freedoms, shielding them from those who would otherwise disrupt them. The grid overlay on the satellite view map is a nod to 4th Echelon's technological bent. It represents the Strategic Mission Interface, also known as the SMI, and the fact that 4th Echelon operates by wedding analytics to action. Without intelligence and analysis, Sam Fisher's heroics would be directionless. Without Sam to act, the best intel in the world does nothing. This is the logo you chose. Now you know what it and 4th Echelon is all about.